If this turns out to be Suvali Fairy, I'm gonna be furious. Ah! Good evening folks, how's it going? My name is Tommy, welcome to the video. This crazy looking two-headed beast in the background is called Zvilus. It is the second, rather mid-evolution, of the Hydreigon line. Why am I using this thing down at PU, you ask? Well, because it has the strongest outrage in the game, believe it or not. Or at least that's what I'm going to put in the title anyway. It's not actually completely accurate. You have Mega Rayquaza, Mega Garchomp, which are obviously not in the game, but they are more powerful. Kieran Black, I think, is in the game, and it is more powerful, so technically I'm wrong. But because I don't care, I'm going to put it in the title anyway. But all that aside, Zvilus is clearly a very powerful choice. With the Outrage, or the Crunch, doesn't matter. All of his moves hit really hard. Question of the day, ladies and gents. What NFE Pokemon do you enjoy using in the higher tiers? Not that PU is very high, but it's higher than NFE. Let me know below. This is just an offensive team. The only one you could kind of call a wall is the Cryogonal, it's just the bulky support set. So we got this thing obviously just to punch holes in teams. We have the lead Garbodor. That is kind of a wall, but it's mainly there just to get up spikes and then... I guess poison stuff with Gunk Shot and do some damage if needed. I don't know why that's minus attack nature. But, you know, decent lead. Get up spikes and then try and wear stuff down. Obviously this forces a lot of switches. We have the Magnet Jolteon. Magnet boost electric power by 20%, which is quite nice. Obviously Copycat, because it's funny. We have Heavy Duty Boost Magmortar. This thing's very nice for sort of late game cleanup. Nice Dubblade. Dubblade's a new addition to the tier. I wouldn't say it's broken in PU, but it's pretty good. And obviously it's a good check to fairies, so... Yeah, I, I like it, and we got some priority there, of course. And finally, this thing is just for spinning. So it's the same set I ran last time. Freeze Dry, Toxic, Recover, and Rapid Spin. You could also run Knock Off if you want to, but... I, I thought we'd just start with Toxic, and then... Maybe switch it up if we need to later on. Hope you all enjoy this one, folks. Let's get on with the games. Don't forget, folks, to smash that like button if you enjoy the video, and hit subscribe if you're new here. I'd appreciate that a lot. Couple things we've got to look out for. U-turn is obviously a big annoyance of this. Might have Dazzling Gleam with this thing, and Regiwok will still eat a hit despite our massive power, so we got to be a little bit careful. I'm going to start with this thing. Sylvali so Spooky Ghost. I like it. Vault Switch. There's Lantern. Yeah, fair enough. That's a good play. Go right to Cryo. No point in Shadow Balling. That's not a huge deal. I'll go Jolty on here. The Vault Switch. Yeah, that's cool. Is it just going to stay in the Toxic again? Alright, well I guess we'll just get up some spikes. That seems to be the, the way forward here. Big Mesprey's in. I'm going to go Cryo here. Not a huge deal. Let's just get up a Toxic. Oh! That's unfortunate. Alright, I'm committed now. I'm doing it. I don't care if that's a bad play. It's time. We're gonna go right for the superpower. Is he? No, he's a valid ghost, isn't he? I'll go for Crunch. Hits everything. I, I did think he'd go Reggie Rock, but I was kind of thinking, let's make the safe play. So we go Garbodor again. This is definitely a better game for Dubblade, I would say. Let's just get these up. Not too concerned about that. Yep, I'm just going to go for a Poison, because why not? Charizard. Hit one gunk shot challenge. Difficulty impossible. You want to do it again? Pog. Right, spike here. 
I don't think Charizard would kill us. I guess Toga tomorrow, which is just a non-issue. I don't really care about this. Go for Stomping Tantrum. Get him out of there. <laughs> I love that move, man. So good. We'll probably just keep this for Savali. Draw a bit of chip. Alright, big Zard's in. I mean, do we go... Like Mortar? It could just Hurricane, because I've got the drop already. I'll go Jolteon, because Jolteon's not a huge... Uh, it's not going to be hugely impactful in this game, I don't think. Just Shadow Ball. Bit of chip on Lantern, it's always good. This monster never dies. Vault Switch. No! <laughs> I'm clicking it again, I don't care. Yeah, may as well. Yeah, not not the easiest thing to deal with. If I was safely in with Vilas, then great, but I'm not, so. We're just gonna do this for now. I guess some some nice damage on Mesbury. It's pretty good. Scuffed, good information. We're going to go Garbodor here. Body press, that is amazing. Get lots of damage on this thing. Yeah, beautiful. And now we're pretty free just going for Scorching Sands. Good Charizard, not a problem, we can set up on this. Okay. I'm going to Fire Blast because it stops Lantern coming in for free. On a Thunderbolt. Let's see, apparently does not expect that, which is interesting. Does he does he know? Does he know about this thing? Alright, there's Reggie Rock, that's cool. Well, that's fine. Charizard is not something I'm worried about. Like it's is flamethrower toxic, like who cares? Fire Blast again, he's not gonna kill us because it's a Mesprey. Boom. If he goes Lantern again, I'm just going to Fire Blast. There it is, boys. Fire Blast again. Because basically, these Vilas will come in here. There's nothing that Lantern will do to actually pick it off. So it's whatever. Let's go straight to this thing. And we outrage. Because that is perfectly fine here. Boom. <laughs> Melted. I wonder if he's U-turned Savali. That might save him. Okay, there's the U-turn. So Charizard's gonna die. Boom. There's more confusion. That's not Poggers. We don't like that. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed, I'm going to be honest. Yep, and now we're going to lose because of that. So I should have crunched. I just sneak twice. Are we. What, double it takes this? Oh, in God's name. I mean, I know that's 504 defense, but still. Dear Lord, how did this thing ever drop down? Alright, nice. Alright, next one. Lot of offensive threats here. This is definitely a dub blade game. I'll say that now. We're going to start with Jolteon. Damn Lycan Rock. Force switch out. Huge ship into El Bindito. 
I'm just going to stomping tantrum this thing in case it's torn. A lot of them are. There it is. Alright, Big B comes in. I'm just going to gunk shot. The tricks? What is this? So I'm now Choice Specs Garbador. Let's go, boys. Double it's in. Not really an issue, to be honest. Like, it's not like he's going to kill this. Oh, we're also, you know, no guard, so we ain't missing today. Boom, roasted. Didn't want to go for flame charge because obviously that wouldn't do much to a double blade. But now, we can flame charge on, what, Articuno if that comes in? Fingers crossed. Him and Lee, okay. Well, I, I feel like on this kind of team you would run the the annoying like fake out set. But we are flame body, so at the end of the day, it's not that big a deal. Okay, so he's cursed, fine. I'm going to play around with switches for a bit. CC, yep. Going to Magmorto on the knockoff. Extra flame body chance. No, not today. Go El Bindito. Let's go for the gunk. Knock off does a little bit. Yeah, we're good. We have aftermath. Oh, it's non contact, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't matter. We have this. So, sneak here. All good. Get rid of him out. Get him out of there. I think we SD on the Articuno, because on this kind of team, I'm definitely sensing the weakness policy set. Does that sound right? Oh, good. I see where this is going. <laughs> I love this shit. Yeah, one more, because he won't die. Yeah, I love that shit. Alright, so what do we do? We go to... Big cryo first. Toxic. Let's see what kind of Galade he is. Freeze him. Well, you tried. So he's not Scarf, we know that. I guess... I don't want him to be a salt vest. We'll do this. What we want to do is just be in with this thing and then vault switch, you know? I think that's the way to go. Oh! Oh, I have to do it. I'm sorry if this cost me the game, but I have to do it. <laughs> it's the only way. It's the only way. Oh, it cost me the game! <laughs> you have to believe me, guys. I couldn't resist it. The urge was just too great. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't make plays like that. The winning play was Volt Switch, Sack, Shadow Ball. Alright, just for the record, but... You know, sometimes you have to make these plays. Uh, don't worry. No mistakes in this one. That is a cub foo. I have not seen that ever in a battle. I like it. Right, we're going to start Garbador. Archeops comes in. Like, please, please God, don't be Earth Power. Alright, let's gunk shot first. He goes Agron, fair enough. One of the cool things about Garbador is it has that combination of a poison move plus stomping tantrum. And if you fail your stomping, your gunk shot, 
You get boosted there, which is very nice. Now we're going to spike up. Does that, that's fair enough. I do have the priority. Yeah, get him out. Quag is very annoying. We'll go straight to Zvilus. Curse? Well, that's, that's pretty scary. Actually, what am I worried about? I freeze dry. <laughs> I think I give a shit about Quag's eye. Okay. So, Magmortar comes in. It's Archaeops. Let's see what he has. Let's go to Double Aid here. Stealth Rock, okay. I'm going to sneak for a bit of chip. See, hard switches, that's, you know, that's the right play. Can't argue with that. Cobfu. I mean, I, I couldn't even tell you what this is going to do. I, I genuinely have no idea. Is it Choice Scarf? Is that what they run? It's Vilas. Looks like an offensive set to me. So I'm just going to go for the Outrage. We need blood. That's <laughs> it! Go on. Big power. Go Quagsire. Do it. Rock Blast. Two hits, two hits. Yes. Incredible work. Focus Sash. Yes, yeah, fine, whatever. <laughs> Go to this thing. We're just Shadow Ball. I hate this goddamn thing. Okay, Quag. So this is uh, like earthquake, right? Earthquake liquidation. Okay. Let's recover first. Go back, mortar. I think probably Scorching Sands is the play. Wait, let me think about this. Or if I Thunderbolt, that hits Jellicent and Archaeops. That's an insane play, my guy. So what we'll do here is we'll go to... Uh, just Fire Blast. I don't know why he's staying in. I don't. Couldn't tell you. There's the big quag. Okay. <laughs> Archaeops comes in. I mean, he's not going to kill us without the... Uh, what do you call it? When he's in Defeatist. Unless he gets five hits. Pog. Let's go, boys. Obviously, we're keeping this. Go Magmorta. That's a, a meaty hit. Let's go for the Scorching Sands. A burn on this would be huge. There we go. Alright, good. So recover up first, because he can't do anything to me anyway. Doesn't matter. Now we can start pelting this thing with freeze dries or just toxic. Toxic's fine. It's a, a big crit, my guy. I always find that this cryogonal set is good for wearing down the, the really fat stuff like Jellicent. As much as I hate poison store. I just freeze dry. It might be specs. I hard to gauge that interaction there between these two. Now we just freeze dry. Pretty good. Cool team, I like the Kubfu. 
On to the next. Okay, next one. Puas B. It's a tough team. Very tough. Not even sure how to start this. I think Magmort is going to be very good. What would you go against, like, a Garbodor lead? Maybe I'll try Magmortar first. If this turns out to be Choice Scarf Sandslash, I'm going to be furious. Absolutely furious. Now, he should swap, because, it, like, any offensive Magmortar will easily kill this with Fire Blast. I mean, for the record, I was predicting wheezing, but I guess it doesn't matter. Magmort is still decent here. Oh. That's hilarious. I love that shit. Alright, now we're going to Earthquake the Togedemaru. Get ready. Scrafty, you little rat. You couldn't let me have it. Alright, Volt Switch out. I mean, it would have done like 10%, but it would have been funny at least. <laughs> that was Shadow Ball. Hey, I can do this all day, man. Big damage. Now we go to this thing. Okay, let's see. One spike. I'm pretty sure we have the bulk to live a hit from Sand Slash if we need to. There's the big Sand Slash. So we'll just go for a gunk shot. Oh. Love that shit. Now we're stomping Tantrum. Didn't it? Shouldn't it be powered up because it missed? Or was that powered up and it just did nothing anyway? God damn it. Well, we'll just gunk shot and then try and pain split on something. I don't know. This dies if it switches. I, I expected to miss a lot this session, but not from the... Goddamn Garbodor, I'll say that. Useless, mon. Right, let's try Cryo, see what we can do as he spins. Let's go for a nice freeze-dry. Ooh, that's good damage. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So he has to scold the Thor out. Well, I guess he has Surf. He's an offensive set. Fine by me. Yeah, that could be Specs, actually. Chippy comes in. Let's go Jolteon. Alright, eh. Maybe Jolteon. Just thinking. Now what's that, Garbodor? That's fine. Right, now we start breaking stuff. Ninjas comes in. Oh, what, what a miss that was. I can see where this game is going. Hey, look, like I said, you have to expect to miss when you're running this nonsense. Well, that's kind of a weird switch. You must know it gets CC. 
right? Like, that's very common for this. Let's go cryo. I don't get it. I don't get that at all. Do I go back to it? Maybe he just doesn't want a Scrafty. Well, fine. That's, you know, not a big deal. Big Slash comes in. Which goes Vilas. Hopefully take a hit. I don't know. Just about. And now we Outrage. Please, God, hit some moves. Nice. Very good. Yeah, that's pretty good to a wheezing, actually, I'm not going to lie. Okay, this thing, whatever. Going to U-turn on me, I guess. Shadow Ball again. This is not a paid tournament, bro. It ain't that serious. Alright, does that, that's fine, whatever. It's kind of tough that I... How much do I take on switching? 12%, right? So that'll put me in range of Togedemaru. But if he's doing that, I think I'll just go for the Shadow Ball. Well, that doesn't even seem so bad, because I can just set up on the this thing, and then sneak. Right? How much is he doing? Because I'm pretty sure plus two sneak would kill this. How does... Seriously? 700 attack. Alright, well, we got a little bit unlucky. We would have had some spikes up, maybe, if we didn't miss all our gunk shots, but... And this would be dead. We are going to get some good games with Zardis, though, I promise you. Okay, next one. Looks like we got a Drud lead. Eh, maybe this thing for spikes. So I'll try and keep Cryo around as much as I can. I think we'll just start Jolteon. Yep. A Vault out of there immediately. So a little bit chip, straight to Garbodor. Earthquake won't kill, so I'm not worried about that. I'm going to Gunk Shot first. That did very little. Our right, cat comes in. Let's just pain split that thing first. A little bit of recovery. Just enough. <laughs> What's this defogger? Whimsicott. Uh, I guess that is a pretty good defogger. Right, so this is 218. We're 202 on this, so his virus is quicker. But maybe it's better to go to his Jolty on here. I'll just keep up some momentum. Because Whimsicott, yeah, that's cool. And if he does want to stay in here, okay, I guess he's going to just sack his Whimsicott, which is alright by me. Like, I, I couldn't block it with Violus, obviously, because of Moonblast. Okay, let's see. Maybe we'll go for the sweep. Sword Stance, go. Iron Head here. I don't think Earthquake will do much as he tries to roar Dragon Tail. All good, all good. El Garbador comes in. I'm going to Swords Dance once more. That does about zero. Actually, we're going to be taking too much recoil to sweep here. Unfortunate. But there's two down. That's a good start. We go Zvilus. 
if this turns out to be max speed jolly, I'm gonna be mad. Oh! You little rat. You really got cocky in the face of Vilas. How dare you. Another one. <laughs> That's beautiful. Alright, cool. Now we go cryo. Sunny day. Well, I can see where this is going. Freeze dry. Yeah, we should be alright. Yeah, look at that. I don't think it even gets anything for Zvilus. What, what would it run? Psychic Solar Beam. Psy Shock? I don't think it gets Earth Power. I don't know. I don't know what it would run. Maybe Weather Ball if it gets that. Nice game. By the way, for those wondering, the reason we're using this Zvilus team is because I made a poll on my community page on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't been paying attention, that's where we take votes for what Pokemon to use. And people pick Zvilus as the NFE Dragon, so... You know what, thank you for voting. And we'll do more of those in the future. I like having some audience interaction there, it's always good. You know what I'm going to lead with? Big Zvilus. It's time. Actually, no, forget that. Garbodor's a very good lead here. Because it's going to be Chinchino or Raquanid, right? Yep, good enough. Gonk shot. Let me just throw a bin in your face real quick. It's really poison, okay. Well, to my knowledge, they don't really run anything for other poison types. So I guess that's okay. Oh, we could have Psychic Fangs. Hmm. I should just have a Spike. Yeah, there's the Psychic Fangs, but that's okay. It'll take some good chip. So what's done Psychic Fangs? I wonder. I wonder if you'd have Crunch. I mean, Double Blade's good, but it's not not essential in this game, so we'll try that. Let's just go for a sneak. It always does slightly less than I think it does. Well, if he doesn't have crunch, he can't do anything. So at the end of the day, I can just set up here. Ah, very clever. Very clever, my friend. Because Vilas on the fire move. Being a dragon type, we are naturally just amazing at switching into these, and that's a crit. It's banded crunch time, let's go. Should have outraged, really. Not bad. Let's go to El Bendito for some chip. Ah, so good. And that's another spike. You know, I just kind of threw this team together. <laughs> this is untested. But it's doing alright. It's, it's not the best because you, you know, you have to rely on luck a fair bit, but I think it's okay. Okay, let's see. Can't win with this thing yet. I think Jolteon's a good thing to go to to threaten, you know, whatever comes in. So just Thunderbolt. Take a, a big old chunk there, which hopefully won't matter. Or oh, you better not be. You better not be the set I think you are. Alright, sweet. Double Blade doesn't care. And I suppose from there we can try and maybe set up and pressure the Charizard a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, good. Sneak it. Oh, that's huge. That is very, very nice. But unfortunately, because he's... Well, 
He's in blaze now. I have no chance with Vilas. So we're just going to Thunderbolt. Yep, fine by me. Right, this thing. I don't know how to feel about this. Generally, Magmorta is safe, unless it's the fabled Dig Leafeon. Okay, that is fine, I guess. I mean, Cryo's looking pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't see a switch in. Even a rack one, it'll take a, a decent chunk. And this is a, a big, bulky boy. Yeah, not bad. Again. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, unfortunately liquidation is going to murder us, but doesn't matter. Not a big deal. And he's not running liquidation. I don't believe it. That's a travesty on an Araquanid. Alright, well now we're faster than everything, which is amazing. <laughs> and everything's pretty weak. So I guess we call that a cryo sweep. Yep, fourteen percent, fifty-eight percent with spike. I'd say we're pretty good. So definitely the spike chip is coming into play here. Quick attack. I really don't know what set that is. I don't think it's banded. But nice game. Race Chaser? I don't know what that means, but... Got a pretty cool team, I'll say that. Got the Glaceon there. A Glaceon lead... Might be scary. I got an idea. I'll go double aid. I'm gonna go straight for the Iron Head. I want to see what he does. So nice damage on that, that's good. I'll go Garbodor here, as I thought he'd U-turn, but okay, fair enough. Not ideal. Let's get up one spike. The edges, I guess, expecting that thing. Right, one more. We're going to pain split on the rapid spin. It'll take a lot of chip there, that's nice. I'm going to bring this back in at some point. Let's go to... Cryo for now, I think. If he's a defensive set, we should still be quicker. I guess he has some speed, but we live that, which is nice. Understandable, have a nice day. Let's go to Garbodor. Right, we're boots, so we can just come back in at some point. Just paint split on this. This is such an annoying Garbodor set, honestly. <laughs> Alright, spike it up on the Protect, that's pretty funny. And one more paint split. <laughs> Good result. Right, we should 100% be faster with Edge Calibre. So, yeah, Iron Head's looking like the best play. Get a bit of chip on this wheezing. Yeah, 
Yeah, not bad. I think Mag Mortar. I think that's the best play. Yeah, nice. And we can basically go right for a Fire Blast here. Gigalith, that's cool. Stealth Rock, Earthquake Protect. I'm not entirely convinced that Scorching Sands will kill it. So we're going to play it safe and go to this thing, because it, it can't beat Scyther or Glaceon anyway. So, why not, right? We're just going to Outrage. Just decimate something. And now we can't even miss. <laughs> Gone. And if this turns out to be Savali Fairy, I'm going to be furious. Ah! I don't believe it. I don't believe the shit. Right, I'm going to burn him. <laughs> That's the only way. Burn him. I don't believe it. It's horse shit. Right, hopefully we still live this without EV light, I don't know. Yes. Demon Pokemon. Right, that's pretty good. Let's go for a sneak. Get a bit of chip off. Don't be Roost, please. Nice. How do we proceed? Right, hopefully Thunderbolt just kills it from there. Yeah, protect, okay, sure. Just in case we're gonna Vault Switch and sack Uka Uka. It's fine, it's not going to do me any good at this point. Oh, that definitely works for me. Because now I can do this. Just flame charge. Get him out of there. Right, sand runs out here. Let's go for scorching sands. That is beautiful, ladies and gents. And then that dies to anything, so... Nice game. Okay, last one. Jeremy Pascal. That's... It's not bad for Zvilus, I suppose. We can definitely put in some work here. Should we lead with it? Why not? Go for a, a massive crunch, turn one. I think Yuxi might be quicker, though, by default, which is annoying. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Look at that damage. That's insane. Kill this thing. Get it out of my sight. That's amazing. We're still using this for Claydol. This is the wall breaker extraordinaire. Chinchino? Nah, we're not doing that. You can take a, a load of recoil here, my man. And try not to crit me too much. I'm gonna pain split. Yeah, I figured Kling Clang are coming. I don't think Kling Clang would beat Jolteon or Dublade. So it's not it's not really critical to me to to worry about this thing, you know. I suppose we just go to Dublade first. 
Yeah, that, that was a good play. Let's go back to Zvalis. Take a, a lot of damage there. That was pretty scary. I just crunch. Yeah, I mean, like a flamethrower Charizard would actually be able to take on fairly well, but alas. What can you do? Let's go for Fire Blast here. He's not even like specs, that's surprising actually. Flame Charge here. Alright, I guess he didn't expect Thunderbolt, that's fine. Zvilus did alright though, I mean, killing a Uxie is, is no easy feat. Now this is going to murder half his team. Claydol? No fam, we're not doing that. Yeah, Kling Klang's pretty strong still. Uh, yeah, we'll go right to Cryo I guess. Keep this around. Because we can also set up on the Kling Klang. Oh! I guess I lost against the Kung Fu guy. Damn it. Calm mind, yeah, that's fine. We should do this. Not too worried. Okay, that was kind of short, so I'll grab one more. Okay, last one, I promise. P U A S Ronald. Start Jolteon. I look at the team and I, I know that that Archeops is going to be. I don't think it's a lead set, I think it's going to be a Scarf one. I'm going to be extra special careful around it. But that's okay, we'll eat Jolt and maybe get some, some cheeky copycats off. Okay, Frostlass, how do we feel about that? Just Thunderbolt? <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Should I copycat? <laughs> There's no other choice. I'll just Volt Switch here, man. I can easily go for my own spikes. Garbador. We're going to find out if he specs Rabombi. If he comes in here, he'll probably just psychic me. Uh oh. That's not the shit we like. Yeah, there it is. Let's go for Toxic. Probably doesn't matter on a Scrafty, to be honest. Let's try Garbodor first and see who's set. It's Dragon Dance, okay. Go for a big gunk. That's pretty fat. I like it. Probably the mono I was most worried about, so I'm cool with that. Okay, let's see what you got. Pain split. It's pretty good. He's a special attacker. Actually, I, I couldn't even say that for certain, because I would run Earth Power on a lead set, just for stuff like Agrom, you know? So understandable, have a nice day. Let's just go for Thunderbolt. Am I worried about Vika Vault? Not really. I mean it's it's whatever. What's it gonna do? 
his throat spray. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. I'll admit that. I'm gonna spin first and then toxic it. We're doing 51. All right, let's go for toxic. Right, we'll go to this thing, we'll just go to... what do you call it? Go mag. I think he's going to try and predict my switch here to... Oh, fucking mud shot. <laughs> Why does he get mud shot? <laughs> that is an insane move. Genuinely didn't know I got that. Alright, whatever. Let's go to... I mean, Magmortar wins, right? It doesn't really matter what happens here. Mod shot. That, that is a cool set, I have to admit. We're not fucking about with Double Blade. I'm not doing it. There's Rock Slide. Okay, that's pretty cool. Fire Blast here. Oh, that's not cool. Band of Crunch. I think we're still fine. Thunderbolt. Very cool tech, the rock slide for stuff like Charizard. I can definitely respect it. Thunderbolt will put it in range of Shadow Sneak regardless. Very, very strong game. So that's the session. Nice and simple. I think that... Zvilus, unironically, by the way, this is a side note. Unironically one of the best Blunder Policy users in the game. Just run Blunder Policy, you still have good attack. It's like 450, nearly. You'd probably run these same moves, maybe Substitute. I think Sub, Overhead Smash, perhaps. But you can do a lot of damage with it. Like This is the Wall Breaker Extraordinaire. And you got decent typing to... You know, take a couple of hits, and like I said, with the subset, you can often get a free sub. It's the same with Guzzlord. Dragon typing gives you free subs against stuff like Eldegoss, or, you know, anything passive that's water or grass type, you know? But I like it. Generally, it is better against bulky defensive teams, so given that we mostly faced offensive teams, not all that great, but I still think it did alright. This thing is just, you know, it's a standard Garbodor. Does what it does, gets up spikes. Love the Jolteon, put in some good work. Mag, this is a very good set. Of course, it's going to put in the work, the Flame Charge special. Pretty standard Dubblade, but Dubblade is still pretty strong right now. Very good check to a lot of fairies. And the Cryo is good just for support. Overall, happy with the team. Hope you all enjoyed this one, folks. Leave a like if you did, and I'll see you all next time.